You with the one and only boxing guru. For this episode of Under the Microscope, we're going to jump right into it. Albert the Prince Bill out of my hometown, Toledo, Ohio, is in the rumor mills. He's half of my dream matchup at 130 pounds supremacy against Shakur Stevenson. It's in the rumor mill of, of he's supposed to be one of the um, opponents that could fight Gabriel Flores out of Stockton, California. He's 19 and 0 with six knockouts, February 20th on ESPN. In my opinion, this is a bad matchup for uh, Gabriel Flores. It's a showcase fight for Albert the Prince Bell. He's at um, 17 and 0 with five knockouts. Somebody O has got to go. This would be an easy fight for Albert the Prince Bell, in my opinion. Albert is six feet tall, listed on box rack with a 73 inch reach. And um, Gabriel is uh, 5'9 with a 69 and a half inch reach. Albert's jab would be too much, and his foot movement would be too much for Gabriel Flores. Every time Gabriel would step in, Albert would faint, hit him with a jab, or move with his feet to get out of range and counter all night long. So this would be a showcase uh, fight for Albert the Prince Bell. I hope it get made, but I doubt the matchmakers over at ESPN would make this happen, in my opinion, because they uh, seem like they like Gabriel. But this is the point right now. Both of them could, you know, uh, move up into, into the rankings. I don't know if Gabriel is ranked, but I see Albert is ranked number 13th and 14th in two different sanctioning bodies. So, in my opinion, I don't think this fight will happen, but I'm hoping it will happen for Albert because I know Albert should win this fight easily in, in, in dramatic fashion. But with the matchmakers over there, they kind of like um, the Mexican brawler style, and they know Albert Bell's movement and boxing IQ would be too much for Gabriel. So I don't think it will happen because, like I said, Albert jab his reach, his boxing IQ, and then he drop his right hand every time when Gabriel step in. So this would be an easy fight. But if you want to get to that next level, Gabriel has to step up and take challenges like this. Like his uh, buddy, um, I don't know if it's his buddy, but I'm just saying that. Um, Andy Vincent, who he fought Albert Bell, he was like 22 and 0. And Albert dissected him like a frog. Picked him apart real easily. And I see it going the same way against Gabriel Flores. So without the movement and, and the uh, agility, Gabriel will be under, the, uh, under um, he will be under, um, armed against Albert to Prince Bell because like I said Albert's boxing IQ is really up there so it would be a difficult fight for uh, Gabriel Flores this is the one and only boxing guru reporting for uh, box, uh, under the microscope Albert the Prince Bell versus Gabriel Flores February 20th on ESPN I'm hoping it come to pass because this would be electrifying for the city of Toledo. Another big fight because I heard E-Bunny supposed to be fighting on the 13th of February. So that would be two back-to-back -back Toledo fighters. Plus, I think Jared Anderson. I don't know if he's fighting um, on that card, too. So it would be electrifying for the city. 419 in the mud. Stand up. This is the one and only boxing guru over and out.